This video shows how to use Auto IIR in Fur Designer and Fur Designer M version 4.2. In this example, we've preloaded a full range measurement into the Import tab. Go to the IIR Filters tab. We're going to be using IIRs to get the magnitude response as close to the target as possible. In the lower plot, the target is represented by the olive green line. We're working in the generic filter mode, but you can also choose any of the branded modes, depending on the processor brand you're working with. Use the IIR filter table and upper plot to add any necessary manual filters to push the measurement close to the target response at the low and high end of the auto IIR frequency range. See the effect of these filters on the dark blue magnitude line in the lower plot. In this example we're adding three filters. Firstly, a high-pass third-order filter. Secondly, a parametric filter to push the response close to target at low frequency. Finally, a high shelf filter to push the response close to target at the high frequency end. I'll delete unused filters. Click the Auto IIR button to open the Auto IIR window. I like to turn off the output plot first in order to see the Auto IIR filters more clearly. Set the smoothing to remove some of the fine detail in the response. With smoothing applied, the auto IIR can focus on the broader shape of the response. Without smoothing, many more parametric filters are needed to EQ the fine detail. Now we'll set up the auto IIR parameters. Firstly, the desired frequency range. Now choose the number of parametric filters to be applied. This number depends on the total number of filters available on your processor. Press Calculate. The automatically calculated filter response appears in green on the plot. Now turn on the output plots and turn off the input plots to better see the effect of the automatic IIR. Press Add Auto Filters to IIR tab. Then close the Auto IIR window. Back on the IIR tab, note how the response now better matches the target response in the lower plot. Parametric filters from the Auto IIR window appear in the filter list along with the previously added manual filters. The auto filters can be turned on or off and adjusted just like any other filter. Auto-generated filters are identified with a gray checkbox background. To remove the gray indicator, right-click the filter number and select Convert all auto filters to regular filters. That's it for today. Check out EclipseAudio.com to download free demo versions of the Fur Designer range of loudspeaker processing tools.